about intelligence. I, yeah, well, it's well, it's also, but but in the new thought movement, uh, people are more likely to say you cannot get you cannot solve a problem using the same vibration that keeps that problem manifesting. Yes, that's a better yeah. Where so in terms of the way that that transurfing likes to talk, mm -hmm. so you can talk see it in terms of intelligence, but intelligence is just another vibration. But you can see it in terms of vibration. It's, but it ultimately comes. It, ultimately comes down to your state of consciousness. You will get what, your, what will resonate with your state of consciousness. If you're resonating down there, this is what you're going to see. Fortunately, there's always a way out because for, there's an upswing. Instead of, going, instead of going up, I'm just going to show this graphically because we don't have the, I'm just going to do it with my hands. Okay, so you've got low, slow vibration at a low level, okay? Mm -hmm. resonance here's me here's my reality i see myself i see my reality i see my reality i see myself which is the flip side of that i see my reality i see myself flippy 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 but i can just slightly raise and then my reality starts synchronizing I slightly raise and blah 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 and that's easier to deal with right this wonderful little floating up to a higher level of consciousness. Ooh, flippy, flippy, flippy. Okay. And all of a sudden you were down here forever, but you made tiny little incremental changes over time, mm -hmm. which is much easier than going from here to whoa, whoa. That's extremely well, disruptive. And when I see you doing this, yes. what, what I see is when it's down here, and it's lower, right? This is because the pendulum's got your energy and it's keeping you low. You don't if have- you to, if, you're, if you're negotiating with a low pendulum. If you're yeah, low, if you're in are, a relationship, but when you- Yeah, there's high pendulum. Well, any pendulum can be a high pendulum, but if you're well, doing it at a low level, it's gonna be like yes, this. But if you yes. learn how to, if you can learn how to renegotiate the deal with that pendulum, to the extent that you start to gain a little more energy, right? From it rather than it getting from you and you're, if you can learn how to uh, what slingshot yourself, as you were saying, or, you know, I say renegotiating the deal and making sure you're on the upper end of the bargain, right? You're getting more. Have you ever have you ever, have you ever seen those films of metronomes going into sync? Yes, I have. Right, find one of those clips in the public domain, and 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 if you can add it to this to this discussion because it's very interesting for people who haven't seen it. So basically, what happens is that the pendulum that, that a metronome is just a pendulum that's going click 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 click. It's just you know, pendulum is like this, but a but a metronome is a pendulum that's upside down and it's vibrating, it's doing its thing. Then you have another one that's out of sync, right? But if they're communicating, if they're on a, on a board that they, that the, where the vibrations can come into sync, soon yes. enough, the they pendulum match up. Start, they match up. And you can yeah. have 20, we can have 20 metronomes. And as long as they're all more or less at the same level, it's just that they're doing it at the same rate, but they're not, at this in the they're not in they're not in phase they're in phase when they when they go back and forth at the same time yes right? so they they all get into phase that's a perfect illustration of what we're talking about yes if people whatever reality that you're looking for whatever script in the great library the akashic records the space of variations whatever you want to call it it's there but it's vibrating in a particular way yep until until you're there, you're not gonna you're not going to get that ideal. Yes, it, it it comes it comes That's down it comes yeah it comes down to I say it all the time you can only have that which what you that which you resonate with. Period. If 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 you're not resonating with it, this is exactly we talked about this. Why lottery winners lose their their winnings, right? This is why yes, because for one moment one moment they 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 
part of their consciousness was resonating at a really high money level so that we're able to do that but because they're all over the place yeah and because they're not conscious and they haven't examined their consciousness and they haven't looked at all of the the various parts of themselves because they are a divided and unexamined self the various wheels are all out of alignment so this really massive wheel that managed to generate that lottery win was not able is trying to go in one direction but all of the other wheels and the engine and everything else is and the and the car and the car can fly apart especially the faster it goes so... because the faster you go the more chance there is for something to go really really wrong really really quickly totally which was which is why, my... when most, when, which is which... why most, most people when they're not getting what when they in a bad situation intuitively they'll slow everything down which is they why my which was crash. why my romantic life for so many years was so um so explosive and chaotic oh now we're I getting to it I, oh, okay. so, so, fess up so, time fess so, up time uh, so so this is a practical example of exactly what Xavier is saying right this is like this is this is me applying what you're saying to past circumstances to a way where I can see it so clearly. And I actually had, and I believe I talked about this once on a podcast or a video, but I had this, um, this opportunity that uh, somebody told me exactly this in the moment. So I had created an online dating profile and I pitched myself, of, this is how I am. And this is, you know, what I'm like, and these are all the parts of my personality. And then this is what I'm looking for. And this, and this older gentleman, I believe he was in his mid eighties. He, he messaged me and he said, oh dear, dear Renee. He said, I read your profile and although it is highly entertaining, there is one thing that you are absolutely failing to miss that who you are and who it is you are looking for or think that you're looking for he wouldn't want you and ultimately you wouldn't want him. And there is no way that you would ever be compatible with that type of person. And I, at first I was so insulted. I was like, what the fuck? Who's this guy saying this to me like this? But after a little bit of time looking back on it, and especially after reality transurfing, I always remember this. It, is exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. It was me being like this, looking for someone like this, right? And if something happened, freak and, 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 it, you know, lifelines collided somehow and something could happen. There because was for no one way. moment, before, for one moment, there was like this. Okay, but for one little fleeting moment, and but, but then, then we, usually then you go back to your ground together. state, and then you and you're then you're like this, and you're wondering well, how the hell, hello, how did this happen? This isn't working. This isn't working. Oh, we're trying to make it work. Oh, we're trying to make it work. Ah, uh, and you never get to this. Uh. You never get to the lovely little. No, no, because it usually just goes, and then before you know it, somebody's stuff's getting thrown out of a tenth floor window out onto the street, right? So not that you're, not that you're, do you just pick that out of like random example that never happened to you? It never happened to me. <laughs> it never happened to you. So, oh my goodness! And, this is, and the dating world is actually a very interesting thing that we'll talk about in some other reality transplanting for relationships, especially since I thought we're also going to do a uh, trans questioning on relationships. That's going to be uh, in interesting. I can't wait to hear that one. Yes. So yes, I can't wait to hear that one either. So I haven't just I just haven't heard it yet. Um, but people are often saying, "This is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want." Yes. Without actually saying this is what I've got to offer. At least you were saying this is what I've got to offer because it's a negotiation. This is who I am. Somebody out there in the multi-omniverse wants somebody like me. That person wants me. I want that person. Right? Yes. The, the, what, 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 I mean, at the moment I'm looking for a new home, right? I, now I haven't sold my first house yet, but I'm waiting to do that and then I'll find a new house. And it became very, very clear to me as I was watching these very things that 
I was going to have to fall in love with the new house because I wanted an established house. I wasn't going to build something because I don't like what's being built now. I like old stuff. I like things that have stood the, the test of time. I'm, I'm putting out there for something really, really lovely. But that really, really lovely thing, the house also has a consciousness. It has an awareness of its own. And it will also want to be looking yeah. for the right custodian. Yes. Right? Because I don't think of houses as being owned. I think of them as, as a custodianship. Mm -hmm. It's a deal. I will keep you and maintain you home, whether it's a house apartment, whatever. I, I'm just looking for a house because I like houses. I'm look, I, I, will, I will maintain you. I will improve you. I will help you to fulfill your housey potential to the extent you want to be, to be uh, fulfilled. In exchange, you will nurture me, you will house me, you will shelter me, blah, blah, blah. It will be exchange. It will be, it will be a nego an ongoing negotiation where both of us benefit. Yes. It's I don't so have an attitude. Yeah, I don't have it, an attitude of it's all me because people say, I'm not getting what I want. I keep asking for what I want. I want what I want. Yeah. But what you've got to ask yourself is, to be blunt, are you worthy to have this? Yes. God, you know, I, it, 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 let me, I want to give my example quickly because I think Feel that, so. I think that for me, I'm still having moments where I'm like realizing this stuff in action to the extent that big, 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 huge things have kind of gone like, I don't want to say unnoticed, but like I have sort of taken them for granted a little bit. I'm not in the business of staring at my mirror any longer. So I don't, I don't see all things the way that I used to see them, but I did realize recently uh, when I was writing something that for the longest time, 35 years, 36 years, 37 years of my life, I just wanted things to be good right? I just want to have a nice life. I just want to be comfortable. I just want to have enough money. I just want, you know, but I was in the mode of why don't I have this? Why isn't this going right? Why is everybody you were trans else getting questioning? You were trans questioning and you were, <laughs> and you were getting the answers. And I was, I, I was trans questioning in the negative, but yeah. now I have all the things that I want. I have all the things that I want. And how did I get these things? How did I really get these things, not in a fleeting way, but in a deep and meaningful way that is specific for me and my soul frail, everything that I've desired that I know is mine and I can feel it and I can enjoy it. And it's not like the lottery winners just getting the thing and then it goes away, right? I got it by, and this is me specifically, I got it by me wanting to help others get the same thing or the same things, right? I got it by giving to people in my reality, both the people in my real physical layer of reality that are close to me, but people in the transurfing community of, of being like, here, this thing's helping me a little bit. Let me tell you how it's helped me. Let me give you some of this, right? Let me, and a lot of people have said, you know, especially the people in the moderators group, they are always talking about me giving away too much for free, right? I'll say, mm -hmm. oh, I have this great idea, like the trans questioning. They're like, no, 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 don't put it on the channel for free. You need to put it to the VIP only or only to the people that are taking courses. Don't give it away for free. And I'm like, but you guys don't get it. You guys don't get it. I You don't get the fact that if we do that, we're operating from a poverty mentality. Exactly. Exactly. We need we, we what we as what okay, to all of the millions of people watching this. If you what believe for example that, that well, fake it till you make it, baby. Yes, it's it's going to so, happen. It's happening. It's going to happen. <laughs> yes, it's happening. It's it's, it's the longest journey starts with a footstep. To the millions of people watching this, that we've had a lot of positive feedback about the reality trans questioning technique, and we continue to put that out there for free. That doesn't mean that we can't, for example, on a more um, 
capitalistic way of doing it, make specific trans questioning uh, videos for specific people for their specific thing. That could be a pay for service thing that we could do. Yes. Because that's very, very narrowly focused to a particular individual who's yep. happy to exchange, negotiate the exchange of money for that service. And we're happy to provide that service for you specifically. Because Absolutely. what we're giving out is what we're giving out at the moment is general generalization. And it takes practice to do this properly. Behind the scenes, Renee and I go through questions and we'll draft things and then we'll correct them because the thing just isn't right because it isn't said as if, because the questions have to be phrased in a particular way in order to be effective. So we do all of that, but that's, the, but that's coming from our, our enoughness, our more than enoughness. This is the great paradox of why people don't get what they want. You have to give before you can get. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you and if you think that you're not, if you think that you don't have much to give, you're wrong. Everybody has something positive that they contribute, even if it's only a tiny little thing, even if it's helping an old lady across the road. It's, even if or it's so taking, people even, are just too focused on the take. That's the yeah, issue. Yeah, exactly. If they take if on the take, we and you say, well, it's all right for you. You've got a you've got a transurfing channel, uh, and you've got all this time to do stuff, and you're blah blah blah. Yes, all of that is true. But a lot of work went into this. Renee has spent six years creating this, and longer. So, so let me. I'm going to ask you now. I have my. I have my answer, which I'm sure people have heard me um, declare on the Facebook group or on my channel, but I want to... Want... Well, no, I'll give, give, give the question and your answer and then ask me what... Okay, so, so a lot of people have asked me, I want to have more money. Yes. So, so what is... We're back to money. <laughs> yeah, yes, I know. It always comes right. back to money. So, so I yes, want to have more money. Because it symbolizes money. so much, right. Yes, okay. I want to have more money. So what do I have to just like donate a lot of money to charities or like give money to people in my life that um, have less than me? Is that how I'm going to have more money when it comes to the frailing... Um, or, you know, giving, giving to get sort of idea. And what I tell people is look at it energetically instead of monetarily, right? Ener mm -hmm. money, money is simply energy. So if you want energy into you, how can you channel energy out of you to give value in a direction that will give energy back to you? This is can you exactly give me a concrete example. Concrete okay, so example? so so a concrete example is like um, let's say this YouTube channel, for example. It's it's um, it's monetized and it makes enough money to sustain a good portion of it, right? I'm not giving YouTube money to see YouTube give me money, I'm giving YouTube energy in a direction that other people will value, which is what YouTube wants. And in exchange for this, YouTube gives me money, right? It's not money for money. It's energy for energy or value It's attention for, value. for attention or value val val for value. Okay, it's a value exchange that's not limited to money. Okay. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yes. Right. Let's say in my let's say in my primary business with 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 jewelry. Right. I want someone to buy a piece of jewelry for me from me and pay me what I paid for it and a profit yes. on top of that. And what I'm giving them in return is value for what it is that they're buying, right? They see it as a good deal. There may be a little bit of money left in it if they want to sell it eventually, or it's going to go into an estate where somebody's going to inherit it and it means something to them or something other than just some rough sort of exchange. You have to offer 
Okay, let me talk a little bit about value exchange because it's really, really, really important. The millions of people watching this, I really want you to hear what I'm saying right now. This is really, really, really important. All of us have an excess of something. All of us have an excess of something positive. We might not know what it is. We might not recognize it because the unexamined consciousness is not worth having. So you need to examine your consciousness and ask yourself, what is it that I have in excess? The value proposition is this. If I'm giving from excess is more than enoughness. If I can give from my more of enoughness a great benefit to somebody, why wouldn't I do that? I'll give you an example. One of my godmothers fell down. One. One of yeah, I got a some people, so I I I acquire I, I acquire mothers. There's something about me that makes older women want to just mother you. Adopt me. Yeah, adopt me. It's very nice. It's very nice. Um, so anyway, in the nicest, innocent, lovely, most caring way possible, right? One of my godmothers had a fall and she then had sort of a problem with her foot and so I said and and I said to her, don't worry about it let me let me deal with it I got her a uh walker just a bucket a bucket with epsom salts and, oh. I, and warmed it up placed it at, because I was around at the time I said here you go and he said that's really nice of you that's really nice it says well of course it is but this is a very low cost thing for me to do it's not Epsom salts are not expensive. The bucket was there. The hot water was there. You're in an you're in a incapacitated state. I will just spend five minutes of work to make this happen for you. And all you have to do is just soak your feet, and that's a great benefit to you. No brainer. Very little sacrifice. Yeah, very little sacrifice on my part because I have an excess of physical energy being much younger and male and stronger and also smart enough to get Epsom salts and all that sort of stuff, whatever. All right. And, and she got the benefit of, oh, relief, et cetera. So a great benefit uh, to her for very little cost to me. Yes. I invite all of the millions of people watching this to have the same attitude to every part of their lives. If they see an opportunity where they can confer a benefit to someone else, for very oh, little effort. It's so good. And they get a great benefit. Why wouldn't you do it? Yes. One day you might be the person at the other end of that, but you don't do it because, oh, yeah. I mean, it's paying forward, but I didn't do it because, well, one day I, because I don't see, I don't see myself frailing myself into a position where I will be one of those infirmed old people. Yeah, that's not in, that's not a reality that I'm going to vibrate to. I don't know yet what I will because I don't yet know yet the person I will become. All I can say is this is the person I am now. If you can confer a great benefit to somebody else for very little, why not? If you have a lot of money and you can hire somebody to do something, do it because that that amount of money that you're paying somebody to do something might be very little for you, but might be a great deal for them. Might Absolutely. just get them out of, out of something. If Absolutely. you've got a lot of time, instead of spending your, your hours in front of a television getting brainwashed by the media, use that time to go out into the world and confer some benefit upon it. This is it. Some you, you, tiny, you, yeah. You need, if people, if people, people, when they want something, they're coming from a place of lack. Therefore, lack perpetuates itself. I lack. Therefore, I get upset. I vibrate at a lower level. I lack more. I lack more. I lack more until there's all this lackness yeah. instead of enoughness. Yes. But there's always, a, there's always a zone of enoughness and more than enoughness somewhere. Start there. Because then you get used to coming from a place of enoughness and more than enoughness. Gradually over time, that seed of more than enoughness grows. Yes. You can expand into that space. You can't expand into lack. 
you, you can't expand and you can't expand into lack. That is that is a brilliant. There's another t-shirt idea. Okay. You yeah, cannot, you can't exp I, you can't I, expand. You can't expand into lack. I, I, I swear, I swear. When I talk to you, I hook into something higher because these are not thoughts that occur to me outside of this context. Right. That's one of the reasons I continue to do this, because I end up with these really great quotable quotes. Yes. You cannot expand into lack. The, you know, this the, I, I want to say briefly that one of the things that that you 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 touched on just now, this this is this is groundbreaking because in the smallest, smallest, smallest of ways, when you express any kind of lack to your reality this law that you're essentially laying down here, the law of expansion, right? You cannot expand yep. into lack. You can't expand into lack. Yes. Somebody complaining one, one, like, oh, one, well, the one. ads on your audiobooks, pay the $10 for the YouTube premium. Don't, you will, you will benefit more by just not expressing that outwardly and going about amending that situation to the extent where you ensure that you never express that lack again to your reality. Do not express lack ever, ever, the ever, sun, ever, ever, ever. The sun does not lack for light and warmth. It churns out more energy per second than the entire human race has used in, in 250,000 years of existence collectively, right? In every second more than enough the sun does not lack for light and warmth we must all become our own stars yes we must we must all dedicate ourselves to somehow becoming a source a rich plentiful source of power through which higher consciousness can work this is a fundamental message. If you're not getting what you want, asking yourself, what could I give? Yes. It doesn't have to be money. Yeah. If you want money in your life, you, you might have a whole bunch of beliefs in you that say, I can't have money, blah, 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 blah. Even if you remove all that, the higher way of thinking about money is this. The money, money is looking, here's, a, here's an idea. Just try it out as an idea. Money is looking for people who will spend it well. There's a whole bunch of other money that's probably looking for people who will spend it badly, right? As well. I do not for a moment doubt that there's a whole bunch of money out there that wants to spend itself on drug addiction and cocaine barons and, and, and drug smugglers and dealers that shoot themselves into in, in jungles, destroy each other's lives and destroy people until they're, there's a lot of money out there that's willing to channel its way towards that. However, there is also money out there that's looking for nice people <laughs> to, yes. to spend itself properly. Like we come back, to, I'll go back to my house. My house is a small hundred year old cottage. It will never be more than a hundred small hundred year old cottage, but there is somebody out there who wants that small hundred year old cottage. I've grown beyond the small hundred year old cottage. I was never living there anyway. She and I were never a totally good energetic match, but while, while, while I was custodian of that thing, I have improved her. I have maintained her. She's a better version of what she used to be than when I first acquired her. With, with the proper frailing, I will, I have added value and I will get that value returned. My hope for that house is it will find its new custodian will say you are exactly what i need right now and you can become what i want you to be love it and it will work for them i will then take that energy in the form of money and translate it to a new place and say here i am i'm the ideal custodian for a particular sort of habitation i'm willing to give you my attention my love my power to maintain you and to nurture you and maybe expand you until you are a better version of what you are now. In exchange, you will provide for me, blah, 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 the shelter, the yes. space, the thing. When you grow up in poverty and you move 20 times, often because your parents have not paid their rent, you learn to value stability. You know, 
the, we're come, but we're coming from a place. We can't have to. We don't. We if we don't getting what we want, ask yourself this: What could I give? Even if what do I have an excess of that somebody else wants? What small gesture that doesn't cost me very much could create a big difference to somebody else? And that is true even of those of you who are in at rock bottom. Yes. Even if you're at the absolute rock bottom, you're completely broke. Uh, you're your relationships are a shambles, your health is shot. If everything is going horribly, horribly wrong, perhaps then you are just simply going to have to offer yourself up as you are to somebody who needs to practice healing somebody. Exactly. That's even that's then, it. And then you get and then, then you get it. And then you get the and then you get the benefit. Just if for all of you, the millions of people watching this who are not in the best of places, just say. God, higher self, higher consciousness, whatever. I am willing to be helped. I am willing to open up myself up to somebody who is looking for somebody to practice healing on. Even in the midst of incredible negativity, you have something to offer because there are people in the world who want to experience them, themselves as healers, as uplifters. I just had another insight. I just had another Feel insight. Free. Feel free. Feel okay, free. so 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 this is exactly why praying works. This is exactly why giving to get works. This is why when you put out your mere response to you with like, it goes back to what you were saying about the vibrations, right? So when a person's vibrating at a particular frequency that corresponds to a lifeline where there is like material, like events, all those things, right? You're highlighting a sector of reality with your vibration and you are experiencing that which you are, right? If you want something higher and better for yourself, you don't have to be concerned with, with, how you're going to get to the place where the presence of that thing exists. All you have to do is act in the direction of what it is that you want, even if it's just giving it. Because when you do this, you are going to vibrate at the frequency where you correspond to a lifeline where the presence of that thing exists for you. So this is it's why it's looking for you. It's looking for you as much as you're looking for it. You're not the only thing in the you're not the only consciousness in the omniverse looking for something. Why are we such geniuses? Because we're giving our time to people who are going to gain something from from what we exchange these thoughts. We could not have these thoughts if we were not having these conversations. And that's something that anybody can have experienced in their life. There are people in the world that will inspire you to a higher level of thinking, a higher level of consciousness. You don't even have to think these out, these, seek these people out. You will just naturally act from your own more than enoughness and you will gain that and, and those people will come to you. And they will also be able to give you your your harmonic resonant vibration is looking for you as much as you're looking for it. The reason that people don't get what they want is simply because they're not an energetic vibrational consciousness match. If you stay, if you dedicate even the smallest amount of your time and attention and your focus to giving from wherever you have more of enough of, even if all you have to offer is a broken body, because there's somebody in the world who will want to practice being a healer of that broken body. And if they are sincere, they will help you to heal yourself. If they're insincere, they'll keep you broken so that they can endlessly break you, heal you, break you, heal you. That's like Munchausen. 
that yeah that that's 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 some sort of sick game that some people play and you've got to be conscious of that too but if you're just there and say all i have to offer you is my poverty there are people in the world who want to practice getting giving, giving getting people out of poverty for the sheer pleasure of doing that yes right and then what you have to also understand is be sincere in yourself don't play the poverty game forever don't play the not enoughness if you're sincere you're going to want to become a source you cannot be a source from a position of lack so you're either a vacuum you, sucking in or you are a source projecting out yes and but the vacuum sucking in might be because i have an excess of something and i need you to suck that up do you see what i mean yeah i might have an excess of suffering and I might have an excessive compassion. I, that had, compassion has to go somewhere. Does that make sense? Yes. And then, and then what happens, and ideally in a, a relationship like that, is that they both people are enriched. Say, I heal someone else. They get healed. If they're healthy, they'll say, wow, from my healing place, I now have more enoughness than I used to have. And I can say, good, go to your healing in peace. That's how I treat my mentoring with people. I'm not, when I mentor people, and the majority of the time I mentor people in a context of um, creative projects, but I could easily, easily mentor people from a transurfing perspective, but I come from a place of, I am not here to create a dependency. I'm not here to create a relationship where you're endlessly going to need me. In fact, the better I am at my job, the faster the process works. Yes. And the more willing you are to engage with that process, the less time and energy and money you're going to spend because I'm not interested in having you a perpetual victim. You want to be here, effective in your craft. I want to be effective in my craft because every time it's not like I'm getting something out of it and it's not just money. I, get a, my, I raise my consciousness every time I help somebody else raise their consciousness. And every time I go to somebody else because I need a raising of consciousness, they get something out of it too, out of the value exchange, right? So it's not like it's a win-win for everybody all around. You know you've got to be suspicious of people that keep you in a state of dependency. This is, this. I, I say, I, I maybe you saw it in the instructor's manual, but this is one of the first things that I touch on when, touched on when I was um, doing one-on-one, -on -one, as I would say, listen, you get one module and after that we'll assess, but I'm really just interested in getting you what you need to get you away quickly so you can start creating your reality on your own, period. I'm not interested in having lifelong students, followers, anything like that, that's not That's good. insane. That's not good for me. That's insane. That's exactly. Not that's, that's, that's not good juju. That's not good if for anyone. Okay. Nobody's no, got time if for that. If, some, if, 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 you're on a, if you're on the yacht in the ocean and you're sailing quite nicely and somebody's in the waves drowning, you throw them out a lifeline. If they can't get the lifeline and you need to fall, fall in, that's fine. I'll, I'll dive into the water and I'll get a little bit wet to pull you out. But I'm not going to go into the, the water and, and be a lifeline for you so that you can cling on to me and not make the effort. Yes. Sometimes and take, and take, so me, and take me down with and you. take me down with you. I will not set myself on fire to keep you warm. Did you see me just spit when I laughed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you did? Keep that in. Keep, keep that in, Ab. So anyway, so... It, I'm not interested in setting myself on fire to keep you warm. That's not where the coming from a place of enoughness works. Coming from a place of enoughness means you will do the necessary thing to get people. And even if they're on their, their bottom, you provide a safe shelter for them. But at some point, they've got to pick themselves a little bit up. Accountability. People... Yeah. Accountability. Accountability. At some point, people have to take accountability for what they're doing and what they're actually. They have to be consciously aware of what they're doing and why they're doing, etc. If you, if your problem is that you're in victim mode all the time, then learned you need helplessness. somebody to guide you out. Yeah, learned helplessness. Guide yourself out. Learned helplessness is often you, know, you just give up. What's the point? What is the point? 
there's also that uh, even darker side of learned helplessness where I'm seeking out people to exploit because they are generous and I can stay in my state. We should do a, we should do a, a transplanting episode specifically on learned helplessness because I've got a great case study there. Let's and do let's do that the remind, next one. Let's let's do yeah, that the yeah, next well, one. Well, we can do that. One. Yeah, we can do, yeah exactly because that's a really important that, that's a re really important one. Um, remind me of that one. Uh, yeah, the, the the Greek cousin. That's that's the thing you need to remember. I'll talk about okay. the Greek cousin. Okay. So but anyway, the point is, if you want, if you're not getting what you want, the primary reason is you're not coming from a place of enoughness. Coming from a place of enoughness or more than enoughness, no matter where it is, will be the first step on your path of liberation. It will be the first step towards actually achieving your goals. It will be the first step towards getting what you actually want because you won't want it anymore. Once you get it, you're not in a state of want. You're not in a state of lack. You're in a state of fullness. And we can only take so much in our cup at a time. We overflow. Fine. Don't be stingy with your overflow. Don't be stingy You've got with overflow. your overflow. Don't be, there's another T-shirt. Yeah. Don't be, don't be stingy with your overflow. You're overflowing with something. Give it, be, give consciousness. So to go back to the very first question, if I don't have money, do I give it to charity? Only if you're coming from a place of more than enoughness. Yep, there if you go. You, oh my God, that's you. You you nailed it. Only if you're coming no from a place in, of enough enoughness. Oh, if you're if you're if you're if you're regretting every dollar that you're sending out, if you're feeling this incredible resistance to it, don't do it. Yeah. Don't that's come from it thinking, oh God, because that's that because that's a lack zone, and you've got to really look at that. Yes. It's a lack zone. You really got to look at that. And there are all sorts of exercises and, and, and stuff that you can do to raise your consciousness. So that big, ugly lump of lack, which seems paradoxical because lack is usually an absence, but this is actually a manifest block. Yeah. The way that, the way away. that, the, the way that I like to envision it is, um, and I've said this in my money course, and I may have touched on it uh, in one of our money um, episodes that we, we've done, but that my life is like a free flowing river. And anytime, anytime I'm in this poverty mentality, lack mentality, holding on, feeling as though I don't have enough, um, being stingy with anything, time, money, resources, anything, it's like debris starts collecting and it builds a dam in the river. And when that dam gets built, then that free flow of, of, of that water, that current, this is what brings me the things that I want. So when I create a dam with faulty thinking, poverty stuff, all that kind of stuff, that water gets caught up and that free flow is when I benefit. It's when I make money. It's when I Not get the things I want. It's when I, yeah, notwithstanding, there are times when you're when you when you don't give because there's a good reason for that. It yes, given the ways giving, that are yes, and given the ways that you're be, intending for in, in, that are your things, right? Yeah, exa exactly, exactly. There might be a good reason that you don't give money to that particular panhandler on the street on that particular day. It could be because you're coming from black, but because there could also be because you have some intuition that that money will be wasted yes. with that particular person. Or every time I right? give him money, he spits in my face. Or, what, or whatever. Or what, or what, I mean, and the, unless you're really into that, for, if you've got a kink for that sort of thing, then that's fine. It's a good energy exchange. But for example, uh, some, some, but sometimes you might just feel this, this overwhelming instinct this intuition yes here's an appropriate place to do that let's do that let's do that let's do that so you've got to learn your own again you have to examine your own self you have to examine your own mechanics and ask yourself, where am i really coming from yeah where am i really coming from with this am i really coming from a place of or i'm going am i going through the of, of enoughness or am i just going through the motions in order to get something where am i really coming from 
But if you just examine where your enoughness and more of enoughness is and start there. Yes. Just start there. So and you I, will start moving. So I want to, I think we're going on, I don't know how much time since. Oh, the who knows? Yes. Thing. Yeah, who we've knows? Rabbled, who knows? We've rabbled yes. it on again and again. <laughs> but, I, but, but I would like to, I would like to wrap it up with an example of something that happened um, around the beginning of the year. That was just really, um, it was a small thing, but it was really meaningful at the time. And it really touched me. And this, it's a good, it's a good example of, um, you know, this thing, right. Of, of starting to resonate at a frequency where you attract exactly what it is you want and, and maybe something that you need. Right. Um, do you remember when I donated the books to the people in um, Pakistan? Yes, so yes. that was an incredible feat. Um, not only financially, it was huge. I matched dollar for dollar what people donated and it ended up costing, I don't know, something incredible, like a couple hundred books ended up costing like $3,000 or something like that. And, mm -hmm. but it wasn't only financially, a lot to do that. Like it was a pretty big, it was a pretty big logistical get, operation. Oh, the, logi logistical operation. The, the logistics were absurd. I mean, it was outrageous what it ended up, what it ended up happening. But once the, once the huge box of books got to Pakistan, the customs there held it ransom and they wanted a pretty large amount of money. Right. But my issue wasn't the money. I was, I was willing to pay the money. It wasn't about the money. It was about um, actually c communicating with them and getting someone to be able to give them the money, right? Somebody actually being able to go there and give the money so they would release the books. So I put a post up on Facebook and I said, you know, can somebody help? They're in this village. Can someone you know, uh, anybody that knows anyone, can you please help? And people reached out to me and were so helpful. People that were here in the U.S. that had family members in Pakistan and people that they could connect with. But the thing that was the most amazing thing about this whole experience is, I won't name her because she actually gave me the money anon anonymously, but I didn't even ask for the customs money I go to my phone and I see a PayPal payment for the customs fees. And it was mm -hmm. someone in the group that paid it to me anonymously, didn't even attach their name or anything and just gave me the money for the customs fees. And I was just like beyond moved, you know, like, it was so unbelievable to me that someone would read that post and think, I'm going to send Renee the money for the customs fees anonymously. It mm -hmm. blew my fucking mind. Like I couldn't mm -hmm. even, th this was a whole new level for me of mm -hmm. not only me in this action, other people that were coming to the, coming to my coming to be assistance to me and these people that needed these books. And this is what we're talking about. Right. And I know this woman now a lot more closely than I did at the time. And she's a, she's a magician and she's amazing. Right. She's a, she's one of these people that we want to, she's, she's got it going on. And mm. I'll, I'll never forget that. You know, I'll never forget mm. that really just expanding into out of yes expanding out of enoughness absolutely so that was uh one of the, the 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 examples that i could call to mind that really was incredibly meaningful to me and i'm sure her reality is a pleasant place to exist <laughs> <You know? laughs> and with that incredibly inspiring story i think we've rabbited on long enough about this i think if people really listen to what we've had to say and really take it on board, they will find that their lives will improve and they will start getting more of what they want, purely because they'll start coming from a place of more than enoughness. I hope I, I hope so. And I hope that people made it to the end here. Let's do our... If, our, if, if, if not, what, what we should say this at the beginning of like, run, run it at one and a half times speed or run it at double speed. I never run any of your videos at normal speed. They take too long. 
Yeah, I ramble on. Like a bit. I, I, I can absorb information faster than you can deliver it. So if <laughs> believe me, if YouTube had a three times speed, I would put it on three times speed because I totally get it at double speed. <laughs> so, That's amazing. Yeah, That's amazing. It, yes. Hour, if you don't have an hour and a half, you can turn it into 45 minutes. Yes. That's much good, 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 good idea. And that option is available in the upper right hand corner, right? Where you can adjust the Actually, speed. Actually, could could you make that announcement at the beginning of this? Just make Yes. <laughs> yes, I will. I will leave those instructions for Abdiga 4. Okay, everyone. So thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Reality Transplaining. And if you have any topics that you would like Xavier and I to tackle, definitely comment them below. We're open to suggestions of topics to create videos about for sure. And Xavier at transurfing.us, if you are in Australia and looking for a transurfing instructor, I don't know your availability, so you will discuss that with people. I'm sure you will get some emails. And um, yes, he's going to be representing for the AU. So thank you for tuning in and we look forward to hearing your thoughts and answering your questions on this episode. See you next time, guys. Bye. Ciao, ciao.